from high rises in uptown to gated complexes near downtown. In every North Texas suburb and city, an estimated 1.3 million people rent apartments, and thousands now wonder how they'll pay that rent. But note, if you don't pay your rent and you don't get caught up by the end of May when this moratorium is over, they will have grounds to evict you then. This is Dallas attorney Mark Melton on Facebook Live. You might call him a renter's guardian angel. He does not have a pot of money, but he does have a wealth of knowledge. You know, our advice is to the extent that you are able, you should pay your rent. Uh, but if you're not, um, we're just trying to keep people with some peace of mind knowing that they're not going to be on the streets by this weekend. Melton organized a team of 80 North Texas lawyers. He launched a website, an email address, a phone number to answer renters' questions for free, and he's been flooded. I've personally probably taken three or 400 calls at this point, and um, it, it has been a a labor of love, I suppose, but it's from the time I wake up until the time I go to bed. At the North Texas Fair Housing Center, calls have tripled. Of the tripling of calls, over 85% of those are people calling asking about how they can get assistance paying their rent. The city of Dallas is considering using more than $2 million in federal relief money to create a short-term rental assistance fund. If that doesn't happen, I think we're going to have a lot more um, families and individuals become homeless, and that's going to that's going to make the homeless crisis even worse. A moratorium on evictions currently ends April 30th. The worry is what happens May 1st. In Dallas, I'm Teresa Woodard. And if you need Melton's free legal help, look for Teresa's story on our website. You will find his website, his email address, and his telephone number there.